this video I'm going to walk you through the process on how to create an NAD27 coordinate system in your Leica Infinity software. One word of caution, we don't recommend using NAD27 coordinate systems for GNSS measurements as large scaling errors can result. We do know however sometimes that you need to project coordinates to NAD27 systems so I want to show you how to do this. I am in Leica Infinity version 3.3 this is January 2020. I'm going to show you two methods for doing this. So the first is to use the localization tool. So I will go to tools. You notice my localization button here is live. Uh, you have to have a current, the most current version of it like Infinity, and you also need a valid CCP or customer care program to utilize this method. So I will select localize. Once the tool is loaded, select the area where you're working. Of course, this would be the United States. We have four regions. I'm going to create NAD27 coordinate systems for West Virginia and Virginia, the area that I work in. I will select South, and then I will use the drop down arrow here to isolate the systems that I want to import. We'll scroll down to the bottom and select Virginia South, NAD27, Virginia North, West Virginia South. West Virginia North. They're now in my list to be imported. I'll press start. The imports are completed. This is the first step in the process. To complete the process we will also need to add a geoid model to each of the coordinate systems that we created. But before we do that let's go ahead and show you how to create one of these manually. I will need to go into the manager. Creating an NAD27 coordinate system from scratch is a two-step process. You will need some information from the National Geodetic Survey. You can download that information from the NGS library. It's the, the publication you will need is special publication number 235. A link to the library will be in the description for this video but you will need to search for that publication and again that's special publication 235. The first thing we need to do when we're creating an NAD27 coordinate system from scratch is to create a projection. So I'm here in my coordinate system manager and I will select projection and then I want to give this a name. So I'm going to call this West Virginia South NAD27. Then I will reference my, my publication from NGS. Just to pull this over here so that you can see it and I have highlighted the information for the West Virginia South coordinate system that I will need. This is a Lambert projection, so I'll move that out of the way. I will set my type here to Lambert 2. I will key in my false easting. That's 2 million. I do have this set to US survey feet. My false northing would be 0. My latitude of origin, 37 degrees, 0 minutes and 0 seconds. My central meridian, 81 degrees, 0, 0 minutes, 0 seconds. Make sure that you switch that to west. My first parallel, 37, 29, and my second parallel would be 38, 53, and 0, 0 seconds. Now I'll just double check, make sure everything is correct, and press create. So I now have my, my projection created. Now I want to go ahead and create a new coordinate system. I'll select coordinate system. I'll give this a name. West Virginia South NAD27. My transformation type will be set to none. My ellipsoid will be set to Clark 1866. My projection will be the projection we just created, which is West Virginia South NAD27. And then I need to set my CSCS model to NADCON CON US. And I will press create. I'll come back in just a second and add a geoid model, but we need to go through the process of creating that geoid model as well. The next step in this process is to create a geoid model to use with our NAD27 coordinate system. The model that is created must utilize the WGS84 ellipsoid. To create the model, you will need the national geoid model that was used to create the statewide files that are available in the localization tool in like Infinity. I have provided links to download Geoid 12B and Geoid 18 files for the continental U.S. in the description for this video. To, you, to follow along, download and unzip these files and store them to a convenient location on your computer. For this example, I will utilize Geoid 12B. To create the Geoid model, access the Coordinate System Manager in Leica Infinity and then create 
then select create geoid field file then select the option from geoid model access your property screen here and then pull down the box scroll all the way to the bottom and select your source file then select your source file path by clicking on the folder this should default to the last location if not you'll need to search for the location of your geoid model I'm going to select geoid 12b and then you'll see your executable file here your application select open then we want to give this a description I'm going to call this wv geoid 12b and then i'm going to tag this wgs84 this will make this easy to identify when i attach it to my coordinate system I'm going to set my coordinate system type to geodetic and you have an option either to select the center of your project and do a radius or do uh, the boundaries if you select bounds you're going to select the lower left corner the southwest corner and the upper right corner the northeast corner so in this case i'm going to go ahead and i'm going to do the entire state of west virginia so i will key in the bounds for that once you're finished keying in the latitudes and longitudes you can select your spacing the default for this would be 200 meters you want to make sure when you're keying in your long longitudes that you select or change this to west for your longitude once you're finished keying in items you will need to select a file path and just remember to scroll all the way down click on the folder and then you can re-enter your name once you're finished press ok and press create the larger your bounds of your geoid model and the smaller the spacing the longer time it will take to create the geoid model our geoid model is now created the last step in the process is to add this model to our coordinate system so i will select coordinate system scroll down to west virginia south and add 27 select that Then I will select the down arrow in the geoid model box and then you'll see the WGS84 geoid models available. You can then select West Virginia geoid WGS84 and press apply.